dragon pox. <gasps> the dragon pox? What are dragon pox? When you when get on the face. I think it's about sports, isn't it? Like chicken pox. Ellen had chicken pox. She was covered in spots. You mustn't scratch them, said Mum. Ellen put on her right slipper, she had lost the left one, and went to look at her spots in the bathroom mirror. The spot on her nose was itchy. Surely a tiny little scratch wouldn't do any harm. Ellen lifted a finger to her nose. Then she jumped when a voice from the mirror said, Don't scratch! You might turn into a toad! Could this really be happening? Could Ellen's reflection really be talking to her? Before Ellen could reply, the mirror girl went on. You've got really bad dragon pox. No, I haven't, said Ellen. I've got chicken pox. And so have you. You're my reflection. Yeah. Don't be silly, said the mirror girl. And the next second, she had jumped out of the mirror and was in the bathroom with Ellen. I'm Princess Mirabelle. You really ought to curtsy, but as you're my friend, I'll let you off. Are you really a princess? asked Ellen. But you look just like me. You've got the same pyjamas. You've even lost one of your slippers like me. Oh, no, I haven't, said Mirabelle. She paused for a second and then continued. My slipper was stolen by a goblin. They're always stealing slippers. They like to sleep in them. Ellen laughed. Do they have little sheets and pillows? She asked. Never mind that, said Mirabelle. We need to get started on the cure for dragon pox. And she put the plug in the bath and turned on the tap. But I haven't got dragon pox, said Ellen. Well, I have, Mirabelle said firmly. You see, a dragon captured me. And last week, last week and carried me off to his mountain lair. Luckily, a knight came and rescued me. But when I got home, I came out in these terrible spots. Did the knight want to marry you? asked Ellen. But Mirabelle seemed not to hear her. Now then, said Mirabelle, on with the cures. This stuff looks good. She grabbed a bottle of bubble bath and squirted it into the water. Then, how odd, she exclaimed, as hundreds of bubbles appeared. Don't you have bubble bath back home, asked Ellen. Certainly not, said Mirabelle. But we do have bubble fish. They're much better. They swim about in the bath and blow thousands of bubbles. But isn't the bath water a bit hot for the fish, asked Ellen. Never mind that, said Mirabelle. Let's get in. Hmm, we need some more ingredients, said Mirabelle, when they were both in the bath. Let's try this. Before Ellen could stop her, she had squirted a whole tube of toothpaste into the water. Hey now, we won't be able to clean our teeth, Ellen protested. But can't you get the fairies to clean your teeth, asked Mirabelle. No, I don't know any fairies. And what would they use instead of toothpaste? Well, our fairies collect dew drops from the rose petals and use that, said Mirabelle. How does it stick onto the toothbrush? asked Ellen. <coughs> I do wish you wouldn't ask so many questions, said Mirabelle. Let's get on with the cure. How about this? And she squirted some white foam from a spray can. Stop, cried Ellen. That's my dad's shaving cream. Well, I think you should stop shaving like my father the king, said Mirabelle. Does your father have a beard as well, asked Ellen. Of course he does. It's so long, it reaches the ground. He needs two servants to walk ahead of him to carry it. And sometimes birds make their nests in it. Ellen laughed. And do the birds fly in and out, feeding worms to their babies, asked. she asked. Mirabelle didn't reply. Instead, she poured a bottle of shampoo into the bath. Oh no! How will we wash our hair? asked Ellen. I wouldn't bother washing it, said Mirabelle. When my hair gets dirty, I just say a magic spell and wish for some different hair. 
my head doesn't always look like yours. You know, last week I had golden curls, and the week before I had uh, red ringlets. I'd love to do that, said Ellen. What is the magic spell? I'll tell you later, said Mirabelle, and she splashed some frothy, creamy, foamy toothpaste deep bath water at Ellen. Ellen giggled and splashed some back. This was beginning to be fun. But then she noticed that the bathroom floor was getting really wet from all the splashing. Oh dear, my mum will be a bit cross, she said. Really? How peculiar. My mother, the Queen, is cross if I don't splash the floor. In fact, she likes me to splash so much that the whole bathroom is like a paddling pool. Then she paddles about in it to wash her feet. And so do all the palace maids. Doesn't the water drip down onto the floor below? asked Ellen. I thought I told you to stop asking questions, said Mirabelle. Now it's time to get dry and put our pyjamas back on. But we're still spotty, said Ellen, as she put on her slippers. The cure hasn't worked. Oh, that's because we haven't done the part two yet, said Mirabelle. What's part two, asked Ellen. This. Mirabelle picked up a roll of blue paper and started to wind round and round Ellen, who laughed. What about you? she asked. We'll do me later, said Mirabelle, carrying on winding. Before long, Ellen's whole body was covered in blue paper and Mirabelle had started on her face. Then, close your eyes and count to a hundred. So, Ellen did. 98, 99, 100. Ellen ripped the paper off her face and opened her eyes. Where are you, Mirabelle? she asked. She looked around at the empty room and saw that the door handle was turning slowly. But it wasn't Mirabelle. Instead, Ellen's mum came into the bathroom. Ellen, what have you been doing? she said as she looked at the water foamy bathroom and all the empty tubes and bottles. It wasn't me, it was Princess Mirabelle, said Ellen. She came out of the mirror. She was trying to cure my dragon pox. I mean, chicken pox. Oh, and I suppose she's gone back into the mirror now, said Ellen's mum. Ellen looked at the mirror over the base and it was covered in toothpastey bubbles. Yes, I think she had, she said. Ellen's mum sighed, then she looked at Ellen. Actually, your spots do look quite a bit better, she said. That one on your nose has disappeared and look, she added, picking something out.